let us begin uh, ohm's law okay ohm's law is related to the flow of charge and this basic law is uh, discovered by uh, george simon ohm in the year 1828 okay so ohm's law is related to electrical flow of charge actually and uh, this law was introduced by or discovered by george simon ohm around uh, in the year 1828 okay according to ohm the potential difference or the electric current the electric current it is indicated by i through a conductor through a conductor is proportional to is proportional to the potential difference the potential difference potential difference we have discussed okay in the second chapter itself potential difference the meaning is uh, the work done in bringing a charge from infinity to that point okay potential difference v across the ends of the terminal ends of the terminals and for this uh, one uh, condition is there and that condition is uh, physical conditions must be constant at constant physical conditions physical conditions means uh, temperature pressure strain etc at constant physical conditions like uh, temperature strain it is okay so mathematically i can write it as v is directly proportional to i or i is directly proportional to v where v is electrical uh, potential difference and i is electrical current okay and uh, proportionality symbol is there I, therefore i will write it as v is equal to r i where r is a constant and this constant is called as what proportionality constant is called as what electrical resistance electrical resistance okay and this electrical resistance r is equal to i can write it as v divided by i here you can observe v is electrical potential difference and i is electrical current this flow of electric current is depending on resistance if more is the resistance offered by the material then less flow of electric current occurs if resistance is less then the flow of current will be more okay therefore r is equal to v divided by i in a simple form i can write it as electrical resistance as the opposition the opposition to the flow of to the flow of electric current electric current for example uh you can observe silver gold aluminum these are good conductors in which the electric current will be easier okay because they carry uh, good number of free electrons whereas uh, wood mica etc okay they are uh, bad conductors in which uh, the electric current will flow uh, less because they are bad conductors okay therefore resistance offered by wood and the resistance offered by gold or uh, silver you can observe in these two wherein uh, silver carries very less resistance therefore its conductance is more therefore electric current is very easily flows okay whereas in wood electrical resistance is more and more therefore electric current is very less right the opposition to the flow of electric current okay some of the examples silver aluminium good conductors most of the metals are good conductors actually good conductors have less resistance have less resistance wood mica are bad conductors bad conductors have more resistance more 
रेजिस्टेंस ओके सो दिस इज दॉइंट एंड वन मोर इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस स्टेट दिस formula i can write the electrical resistance is a ratio of the electrical potential difference to the electric current that we also i can write ratio of electrical potential difference to the flow of current flow of current is called electrical resistance electrical resistance and the unit of electrical resistance is ohm it is ohm and this ohm is indicated by like this this is the unit of electrical resistance okay and this electrical resistance this depends on certain factors actually and those factors uh factors affecting resistance on which factors the electrical resistance is depending first factor it is depending on length of the conductor length of conductor if the conductor has length okay if the conductor length go on increasing the resistance also go on increases for example see here this is wire and this is one wire okay this is first wire and this is second wire in first wire and second wire uh in first case uh, the electric current will be more it, it means a resistance will be less in second wire the resistance is more because the length of the wire is more therefore this resistance is depending on length of the conductor if length is increased two times resistance also increases by two times if length is increases by four times then the resistance also increases by four times remember length and resistance bo both are directly proportional to each other okay therefore a resistance is directly proportional to length length increases resistance also increases the the reason is very simple consider here one conductor like this okay and one more conductor like this see here for an electron electron to travel from this point to this point it takes very less time okay because the length is small and here in case in this case the electric charge takes much time compared to this one to travel from this location to this location okay it means uh, the electric charge from this point to this point while traveling that electron experiences less opposition created by other charges okay in this case it experiences more and more resistance by the charges inside the conductor right this conductor will have certainly charges i mean free electrons okay if one electron from this location to this location it, it if it wants to travel then this electric charge has to travel through many charges in between okay in this case the electric charge will travel with less opposition created by the charges inside the conductor okay therefore here less resistance and here more resistance okay therefore if length is more resistance is more length is less resistance is less and second point uh length of the conductor directly and area of the conductor area of the conductor where area of the conductor resistance is inversely proportional to area it means uh, more is the area less is the resistance less is the area more is the resistance see here this is one conductor okay and uh, this is second conductor both are having same length l length l length length is same but area is different here 
in this case area is a1 and here it is area is a2 a2 is greater than a1 okay consider one charge from this location it if it wants to travel from this location to this location okay in between this charge will experience resistance by the materials or by the atoms molecules present in this metal okay similarly in this case also if a charge wants to travel from this location to this location the charge will experience opposition in between the charges inside the conductor right but the fact is that if one charge is traveling in this way okay consider this is a charge traveling in this way okay and in between one charge occurs okay this charge will not go by this way okay because opposition because the area is very small similar case here if a charge is traveling in this way in between one charge comes here if one charge comes here means this charge will skip here and like this it will travel okay because area is more therefore it will go by this way here no place is there therefore this charge will never go never uh, pass by it will stay here only therefore more resistance here resistance more and resistance less it means if area is less resistance is more if area is more resistance is less and third point depends on depends on temperature depends on temperature and okay depends on temperature and fourth point uh, on nature of material on nature of material as i have already told you silver and uh, aluminum they are good conductors where resistance is less and uh, mica and uh, wood they are uh, bad conductors wherein resistance is more okay on these four factors this electrical resistance is depending therefore i can write it as r is directly proportional to length and r is inversely proportional to area okay therefore r is equal to proportionality symbol is there once again therefore r is equal to rho l divided by a where rho is once again proportionality constant and this rho is called as what this rho is called as what uh, resistivity resistivity okay and this resistivity rho can be written as r a divided by l okay this resistivity changes from material to material okay and this resistance changes from configuration remember this point this resistance is depending on configuration i mean size of the conductor and this resistivity is depending on material for example see here uh, i have a uh, silver say silver metal i have okay this is silver okay it it has silver and uh, one more silver here in these two case okay this is uh, this is also silver and this is also silver the configuration of the silver is different i mean uh, the size here less and here it is more both these sizes have same resistivity same resistivity at constant physical conditions but these two are having different resistance different resistances as you can observe here this resistance is depending on what area here more area is there therefore less resistance here less area is there therefore more resistance okay resistance at these two case it is different but the resistivity in these two cases is constant remember resistivity changes from material to material okay from material to material it changes okay at constant uh, temperature but re resistance it will changes from configuration to configuration understood i will write here depends on first point material 
material to material resistivity changes okay irrespective of its size and shape and it depends on temperature also on these two factors resistivity depends okay and uh, its unit is see here resistance is there resistance unit is ohm and area is there area unit is meter square divided by l is there l is meter therefore one meter cancels and what is remaining ohm meter ohm meter is unit of resistivity okay ohm meter is unit of resistivity and ohm is unit of resistance okay so this is all about resistance and resistivity okay so next we shall discuss current density current density current density electric current density it is also it is called okay current density is the flow of electric current the flow of electric current through a conductor per cross sectional area or per unit area per unit area is called current density current density current density is indicated by j okay and j is equal to i divided by a where i is what electric current and a is what area current density is current density is a vector quantity a vector quantity and uh, unit the unit of current density is see here electric current is a scalar quantity and area is a vector quantity therefore j is a vector quantity and its unit is current is ampere and area is meter square therefore ampere per meter square is unit of electric current density okay